Hey guys, this is Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the blog Grupo Dicas, one of the biggest travel blogs in the world. And today, I'm here to tell you what to do in Barcelona, the best tips, the best tours, the unmissable places that you cannot miss even on your trip. So these tips will be very quick, useful and not boring at all, guys. So check the video, don't forget to give us the like, subscribe to the channel here that helps us a lot and buckle up. Well, Barcelona is a very big city and very touristic. There are many cool tours and sites to see. So the first tip is to book at least five days to visit this city. We stayed six days the first time we visited and we were able to see everything very well. It would still be possible to stay one or two more days for some other things, but five days at least you can do the main tours. We will list here the main ones that you can't leave off your list. So pay attention because these are going to be nice tips. The main point and in our opinion the most beautiful, the coolest thing to see is the Sagrada Familia. You can't miss it anyway. It's the biggest Catholic temple in the world, it's gigantic in height and the details, the architecture is something out of the ordinary. The Sagrada Familia is one of the most beautiful buildings that we have visited so you can begin to get a feel for the sights of Barcelona. This is a work by Antonio Gaudi who was a very famous architect in Barcelona. The city values his work very much so you will see that four of the main sites that we'll talk about now are his so this is the first and the main one a nice tip that we like to give you is to visit on sunny days and why the differential of this temple and church are the stained glass windows it's completely full of colored glasses so during the day if there is sun it's very beautiful inside if you get a cloudy day a little bit dark it ends up not being very beautiful and it's not the same so take a good look and try to visit on a sunny day because you will enjoy Enjoy the beauty much more. Another cool tip, buy the ticket before, to enter it you have to buy the ticket, no way, and to buy it there on the spot, the line is absurd, we ended up observing how the line was, we bought the ticket online and we didn't get it, but it's really long and sometimes the tickets of the day are sold out, so buy them early, and this is an important tip that we recommend for all tours in Barcelona, all tours that we'll talk about here, most of them you need the ticket, so buy beforehand online and in your country, because you pay cheaper, you don't pay the IOF 6.5% which is already a good saving and you will buy everything in one place. We'll leave the link here below of the site we used it in the last three or four trips we made to Europe because it was the site that we found to have the cheapest tickets and it's all the tickets, all of the sites, attractions, excursions, tours and so on of the cities in Europe and Barcelona, everything. So we ended up buying them there and the good thing is that you buy them in one place, you don't need to go to all the sites, buying one by one, you buy everything at once. So do not leave it to buy there on the spot, which is the worst option. All the tours, especially the Sagrada Familia, especially the Gout sites, have very long lines, so pay attention to that. When you buy the ticket for the Sagrada Familia, we will see that there are several options and why. There's the normal tickets to go inside the Sagrada Familia and there are also tickets to go up in the towers. There are two towers, both are options, both are similar, so choose the one you think is cooler. Search on Google to see the picture of how they are, but it's pretty cool. We ended up going up, it's very nice to go up, which is by a very cool staircase and it's very cool. You can see Barcelona from up there, so you have a little bit of a different panorama and curiosity. The work is not yet has finished it. It will be completed in 2028 because of the size of the work and the amount of the details they need to do. It's a differentiated work. And around the Sagrada Familia there are many souvenir shops, so a tip also if you want to buy souvenirs from Barcelona, there are a lot of nice stores around there so you can buy souvenirs, ornaments or anything. Now speaking of the Gaudis, other three works, one of them is the Park Well, which is very beautiful, it's a little bit further away from the historic center, the Sagrada Familia is closer, you can get there more easily, the Park Well is further away, but it's a very beautiful place to visit, and you need a little more time to visit it, both to get around, because it takes a while to get there, and to walk and to stroll around, because it's very big, its extension is very big, and it's an open park, and there are several works, sculptures, paintings by Gaudi scattered around the park, so 
so it's very beautiful and worthwhile. The line for the entrance is also big, so you have to buy in advance, and that are very nice works. The most famous one is the Chameleon, which is all coated. Most of the works there are coated with tile, so it's very cool. There is a part of the park that you don't have to pay to enter, which is the entrance. You can see some things, but you don't get in and you don't need to buy the ticket. But you have access to all the attractions, which are the coolest and the nicest. You need to buy the ticket. And a tip, try to go there during the sunset, because the sunset there is beautiful. There is a lookout point totally covered with tiles. Antonio Gaudi made it into a kind of circular format, which is sensational and very beautiful. And to finish with Gaudi's work, there are also two very famous ones that are in the tourist area of Barcelona. They are there in the center and they are closed, so you can visit them both in the same day. They are Casa Batlo and La Pedrera, or Casa Milar, some call it. They are two houses, actually. They are two buildings that were built and designed by Gaudi. It's very cool. You get a tour inside them. A lot of people ask, and if I want to choose one, which one do I choose? Both are very good. If you can and have time, we recommend visiting both. But if you want to visit only one, either for time or money, because the tickets are not very cheap and are in euros, we recommend you to visit Casa Batlo. We think it's the coolest experience because it's much more attractive, interactive. You have a virtual reality where you see how the rooms were. So you have the room there with nothing, just the architecture and everything. The tiles, the structure, you can see how the furniture was, all the items that were inside the house. It's a very cool thing to do. So if you're gonna visit only one, I think this one is the best. And talking about museums, Barcelona has a lot of museums, an absurd amount of museums, so we are not going to give you many tips, but it's good to research what kind of museum you like. The only one we like to highlight and that we think is different and worth visiting is the Picasso Museum. It's the largest museum in the world with the works of this artist that are more than 4,000 works, most of them from the beginning of his career, so it's very cool, it's a very nice museum. And now for the tourist center of Barcelona, which is actually where we recommend you to stay. There's the video about where to stay that we made, which is very nice, it shows you where to stay. But here are some quick tips for you to locate yourself well, because it makes a difference. You staying well located in Barcelona, you will be able to do all these tours with much more ease. So our tip is, you stay in this tourist center and in this historic center. It has these two names, it's very close to the Plaza de Catalunya. So for you to locate yourself on the map, you look for the Plaza de Catalunya and all also look for the Las Lamblas Street, Las Ramblas, which is one of the main streets that we will also comment on here. If you stay in this area, there's no mistake, we'll be close to everything and you will be able to do most things on foot or by subway, so it's very easy to help you. We created a very good map, I'll leave the link here in the description of the video, it's the hotel search engine that we use to search. It's the biggest in the world and it's the best, it has the best prices, their search too is sensational. You are able to create a personalized map, so when you open this link, you will see the map with a delimited area which is the area that we think is the best to stay in Barcelona. So there will be a circle there, you will see that the area is the best area of Barcelona in our opinion. So click there, there's no mistake and you will be close to everything. We also left the link with some filters that we use, which will only show you hotels from 3 stars upwards and guest rating from 8 to 10. So you can have a good and guaranteed lodging. So you won't have surprises, you won't get a bad hotel or have a bad experience. So go there, enter the date of your trip and take a look, it's worth booking and book as soon as possible. The good good thing about this site, the difference is that it has free cancellation with almost all hotels, so it already guarantees the price because hotel prices increases a lot, as time goes by the rooms are sold out and they increase a lot, make a reservation now, then, then, if you anticipate it, in the future you can cancel it and make another one, but you already guarantee yours, it's a good way to save money. So speaking of this historic and tourist center, that's where there are a lot of attractions, let's go. There is the Plaza de Catalunya, which is a very famous tourist spot, it's a very beautiful square there and it's very circular, you see, it has some sculptures, it has a fountain, people walk around, they stay there sometimes sunbathing, it's a very nice place and it's there in the surroundings where the biggest stores and the biggest stores of Barcelona are, so it's the center of everything. Next to it you see that's where Las Ramblas begins, which is one of the main streets of Barcelona, if not the main one. And there you can walk a lot because it's a very cool tourist spot, it has many stores, restaurants and many bars. In the afternoon it's nice to go there because of the stores and restaurants, it's very nice to visit and in the evening it's nice because of the bars and nightclubs, so try there during these two periods because they are different experience, the restaurants are very good and a tip from us, during the afternoon they have the famous tapas in Barcelona and in Spain in general, this is a meal that they make which is like lunch, they even let you have a lunch at this time for 3-4 o'clock in the afternoon 
and it's a buffet at will so you pay a certain amount of money and you have the buffet there and enjoy it at will and it's not a lunch a meal it's a lot of appetizers snacks so it's very nice for you to eat and there are a lot of people that have tables right there on the street so it's a nice walk and a cool thing, a tip from us, is the market La Boqueria. It's very cool. It's a big market in Barcelona and the most known one. It's a very nice for you to the cuisine and the flavors of the place. Uh, there is food for you to eat on the spots, a nice restaurants or some places, some stalls there for you to buy and eat. And there's also food you can take home that are spices and food that you can bring back to your country. So it's a very nice place to visit. There are several juices that are expensive. They are natural and cost one euro. It's very nice and very tasty. So it's worth going there to visit the place and enjoy the different foods and juices they have there it's very good and over there near Las Ramblas if you go a little bit to the center you will see the gothic quarter which is another sensational attraction in Barcelona you have to go there because it's the oldest neighborhood in Barcelona it's all in the gothic style a little bit medieval so it has been preserved and it's very cool the streets are very narrow like in the movie the floor is all made of stones sculptures and the buildings are very cool it's a nice place to walk around and there are many nice restaurants and bars there at night so take a walk there set aside at least two or three hours to visit the gothic quarter Water, it's totally worth it and you go down there walking along Las Ramblas from the place to Catalunya to the end of it you will get to the Barceloneta beach it's the main beach in Barcelona it's the best known beach and it's very nice for you to know it too if the weather is good it's nice to sunbathe and stay there on the beach the sea itself is not as beautiful as some paradisiacal beaches like the beaches in Spain in the islands of Mallorca, Menorca and Ibiza but it's a very beautiful beach the sand is very nice it's very long so a lot of people stay there but depending on the season it gets very crowded so make sure it's not so crowded but it's worth it and the nice thing is that in the end the view is very beautiful at the end of the beach you will see the W hotel which is a very famous and iconic hotel in Barcelona it's huge and it's shaped like a sailboat so it's very beautiful setting and it's worth taking some pictures and enjoy some good moments during the afternoon Another region that's very worthwhile to visit and reserve a whole day for it is Mojuk. It's a very beautiful region, it's close to there and it's very easy to go there. It's a place that has a very high palace, you will see like a mountain, a hill, there's the Mojuk palace up there that's very beautiful and you can climb up to it and a tip go up this hill the place is high so try to get there by cable car it's a good tip you can get there very easily with the cable car it's a nice ride it's nice because there is the palace up there and the entrance is beautiful it has two gigantic towers in front of which there is an arena which used it to be a very famous bullfight arena and then it turned into a very cool mall it's a mall full of nice stores that we think is very good it's the shopping las arenas which is also nice to visit it. we found the price is good and the stores are good it's not very big but it has a lot of nice stores and a tip go to the top floor which is the open floor you have a beautiful view of Barcelona and you get a better view of this area of Montjuic from up there and the restaurants are very good up there on the top floor there's an elevator to the top floor that costs one euro but the line is huge you will see it down there on the street our tip is go inside the mall of the escalators you get there very fast it's very worthwhile to see the city from above and to walk around the mall and you can see everything you need to see and enjoy the view the landscape is totally beautiful this day the golden tip for Mojuk is to watch the fountain shows there is a very beautiful fountain there and very big in Mojuk it has a very nice show of water of lighting they can do a real show so check which are the days not every day usually it's on Thursday Fridays and Saturdays but check their website because they inform the days and times because it varies a lot according to the season and be prepared because it's beautiful and at night it's sensational the play of the light the lighting the atmosphere the place is very cool there's music so it's an experience that that's worth investing in and booking in your itinerary it's totally worth it it's completely beautiful and here's a tip we're talking about the places and regions Barcelona is a place that we think it's not worth renting a car there are many other cities in the world that are worth it we like to rent a car when we travel but Barcelona we don't think it's necessary we got around very well by walking and using the subway the subway is very nice and a tip for the subway buy the pass for several days for several trips it ends up being cheaper when you arrive at the subway station there will be a machine you buy it there it's super easy and very well oriented if you buy the pass for one trip when we went it cost two euros 
120 cents if you buy the pass for 10 trips it costs 10 euros so it ends up being half the price and on this side that i left here below from you that has the tickets from the sides and the cheapest tours there's also this card which is a very nice card you buy it for one day it's even cheaper than the metro pass package you buy it for three five or ten days and you have unlimited trips to use during this amount of days at will so it's worth it to buy it we ended up using it a lot it's very easy and very practical Another cool tourist spot in Barcelona, it was already possible to notice that there are a lot of tourist spots and a lot of cool things to do, so program well the itinerary and reserve enough days for Barcelona that's worth it. A nice tourist spot is also the Ciudadela Park, it's a very nice park and it's open, you don't need to pay anything to get in, and it has very nice lawns, people go there to drink something, to eat at the stalls, to walk with the dog, to run, it's very nice, it has a very beautiful lake, it has statues, sculptures, some museums inside, and so it's worth an afternoon and next to it is the Arc de Triomphe. It's nice for you to know it too. It's the Arc de Triomphe of the city of Barcelona. It's one two blocks away. It's very close and it's also the historical center in that tourist center close to everything close to Plaza de Catalunya. And our last tip finally about what to do in Barcelona for those who are fanatic about soccer or even for those who are not, it's to visit the Camp No Stadium, which is Barcelona's stadium. It's a sensational experience for those who like soccer, it's a must. And even for those who don't like it, my wife doesn't like it and she ended up loving it. It's a very cool experience because the stadium is beautiful. We were able to see a game when you go, take a look at the game schedule, sometimes you can catch a Barcelona game, which is very nice. It's an amazing experience, but even if there is no game going on take the tour it's worth it on the side of the tickets that i put here in the description of the video there's also this tour that's very cool and has access to the museum inside so you have the whole history of the team the trophies the jerseys you can visit the inside of the stage and it's very cool and it's totally worth it and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like it please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that helps us a lot and follow us on social networks we are always traveling the world trying to give travel tips in a very cool way and showing our family routine there with our little one that's a blast and if you have any questions about the video leave a comment below and we will answer if you have any questions about your trip want some help however silly it may be add us there on social networks and send us a direct message that we will gladly help you and answer and be sure to see the already go on how to save a lot in Barcelona. It's a step-by-step -step guide for you to save money in everything you will do on your trip from planning to the things you will do there. The video is sensational. I'll leave it here along with the playlist that has all the other videos from Barcelona. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and have nice trips.